hello everyone students so today uh, welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this is the second video on the chapter interpretation of topographical map okay and the topic which we are going to discuss in this video today is the contour lines okay now the contour lines are drawn on the map or uh, represented on the map with the brown color okay and uh, let us see the definition of the contour lines okay now the contour lines are the imaginary lines which are drawn on the map in order to represent the uh, height of a relief feature okay especially the elevated surface understood so it is represented on the plain sheet of a paper isn't it so the contour lines are very important and you know uh, the contour lines will represent the uh, accurate height on the plain sheet of a paper also okay now let us see for example let us see how you know the contour lines are drawn on the map okay so here uh, mountain it is present a uh, elevated surface okay now this is the suppose uh, water bodies okay and the mountain will be present in the water near uh, below the water bodies also its base will also be there isn't it? but here we are not going to take the base of the mountain which is present below the sea level okay only above the sea level now here above the sea level this will be considered as the mean sea level the surface of the sea water will be considered as mean sea level okay now here just above that main sea level okay supposingly 100 meter above the sea level all the places of 100 meter will be joined by a single line okay now again the places which is falling on the 200 meter above the sea level all the places will be joined by a line over here also again all the places here falling on the 300 meter above the sea level will also be joined by a single line and then similarly another 400 meter line will also be done now those lines are termed as contour lines isn't it so here one thing it is also there like here the image is in the 2d isn't it so that is the reason we have seen only the one side isn't it? but the line will be drawn all over the mountain side okay now if this mountain has to be drawn on the map isn't it in the map we don't draw the mountains or on in this way we cannot draw the mountain over here in the map in this way isn't it we cannot do it so how we represent this map in the plain sheet of a paper is we need to see the top view okay now supposingly over here this will represent our zero meter mm and this is as i said 100 this is of 200 this is of 300 and this is of 400 isn't now supposingly this is your zero meter of the contour lines okay now below it will fall is the 100 meter okay now below this will fall is the 200 meter then 300 meter and the 400 meter so in the topo sheets the elevated surface okay uh, will be shown in this manner okay this is the top view of the mountain we can say that understood so in this way the elevated surface whatever the relief feature is there or the elevated relief feature whether it is a hill or a mountain or a plateau isn't it so will be identified with the help of this contours okay now it is not only the relief it will show even the uh, slope of the relief will also be represented by the help of the contour lines now the slope whether it is the uh, gentle slope or whether it is the you know the uh, steep slope it is also represented by the contour lines okay now supposingly again the contours if it is very close to each other in this way if the contours are drawn very close to each other now that will refer as the steep slope of that place okay now if the contours are you know spacious from each other now that will represent is the gentle slope understood so this is the way how you know the relief features are represented 
the relief feature which is present on the ground are drawn or represented on a small piece of a paper okay now if we draw the uh, mountains or a hill and the map in this way then it will not be a map it will be a sketch isn't it so that is the way how the um, contours okay will help us to uh, you know the uh, represent or uh, the mountain or the elevated surface is it in the uh, map or in the piece of a paper okay now here the thing is there students like in the topo sheets okay and the question what will be the question will be asked is like what kind identify the relief feature which is present in this map okay so in that way the question will come okay now the thing is that we need to identify the relief feature what kind of relief feature it is it or what is the slope what kind of slope it, it, it is isn't it so that has to be identified by looking at the contours isn't it because in the map the contours will be drawn over here isn't it so looking at this contours we have to identify what kind of relief feature is it okay so that also i'm going to teach you how supposingly The contours are drawn here. Hmm. Contours are drawn here. Okay. And here also another contours is there. Let's see. Hmm. So this is of, uh, let us see, this is of uh, 100 meter. Then here, this is of 200. 300 uh, 400 and 500 so this is also of 400 and this is of 500 okay now the what is the first step that we need to do is we need to so the first thing we need to uh, do over here is we have to draw a cross section line okay a cross section line so this is your a and b okay now this i'm showing you how we can you know identify the relief feature just looking at the contours okay so because the question will be based on this so we have draw the, uh, drawn the cross section line means you need to see whether it is crossing all the contours or not okay so here let us uh, take the measurement of the line also so here i have taken is um, 10.7 okay so let us take the 10.7 or let us take only 10 also 10 also i will guess 10.5 let us take mm. then one important thing over here if you see here we have to take a scale isn't it now here the 100 meter is there if you see the interval between yes so this is the contour interval means the distance between the two different contours it's called contour interval okay so here if you see the distance between the two contours over here is of 100 meter now this 100 meter has to be represented graphically over here isn't it so we have to take a scale for that also so here i'm showing you actually is the graphical representation of the relief which is present in the ground okay so here the uh, 100 meter of uh, distance is also there and a scale we have to take it so the scale i'm going to take over here is one centimeter is equals to 100 meter okay so one centimeter on this graphical scale okay or this graph will represent 100 meter on the ground or 100 meter on this on the ground okay so here So it's like you know um, plotting when you do uh, in the mathematics also isn't it yeah, like in the graph what you do uh, plotting same way here also we need to plot the uh, heights okay so here i have taken one center equals to 100 meter so that means this is of 100 meter this is of 200 this is 300 this is four this is five six and 700 of uh, graphical scale i have taken now the another step what we need to do is
what you need to do is take a strip of a paper place it below the cross section line and mark the cross section first this is a and b now you need to see is the all the contours which are passing through this cross section line and you need to take the marking of all the contours so here it is also passing here it is passing here also here here and here also so i have taken as you can see over here the reading or the marking of the same contour twice isn't it so it does not matter how many times the contour line is passing through the line understood the cross section if it is crossing the contour line if it is crossing uh, three times you have to take the reading if it is cro crossing four times you have to take the reading okay so here four five again five five this is a four and here also it is crossing four so here another 300 then here another 200 and here 100 meter so 100 is crossing only once right five and four is crossing twice three is also crossing twice isn't it so you have to take the reading now another thing what you have to do is place it below the line which you have drawn so mark it here also two three four five 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 four 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 so i have taken the markings now the another step what you need to do is plot those uh, markings which you have taken so the first marking is of 200 300 400 and 500 so first is of 200 so one centimeter is equals to 100 meter so that means two centimeter equals to 200 next is three centimeter is equals to 300 next is four centimeter equals to 400 isn't it next is five centimeter another one is again of five centimeter then it is decreasing over here four is it then after four again four is there next is also again four four centimeter isn't it or 400 meter you can say then next one is your five then again five the next plotting is four next is three next is two and the last one is 100 is it now after that after you plotted all the points here then just simply join the dots and one thing again students if you see here these two points over here if you have noticed two points isn't it they are very close to each other so you need to make a small round or a small pointed shape over here and while dropping over here again these two points are very close to each other here also you need to make a small sink line okay so here also if you see those two points are little close then plot the things and drop it on the other side yes so as you can see over here like we have a two, two continuous hill or this is also we can call is as reach okay or coal also we can say understood so in this way with the help of the contours we can identify the relief features which are present on the map okay students so this is the way how the contours can be you know the uh, and uh, in the same you know the same relief feature if we have to represent it in the map then we will draw the contours isn't it? but as i said in the like in the you know the questions what the questions will come is like what kind of you know the line isn't it like what kind of uh, sorry the what kind of uh, relief feature is present in this map isn't it? just identify with the help of the contours so in that way the questions will come so just looking at the contours you need to identify the uh, so now as i said if the contours are very close to each other it will be steep slope and if it is far away then it will have a gentle slope am i clear students so thank you for watching i hope this video was quite helpful